Hello everyone, welcome back to Simple Networking. Today we are going to learn about STN. So this STN abbreviation is Software Defined Networking. Check out the description for more information and leave your comments in the comment box. Let's jump into the video. This STN will come in the CCNA Topic 6. So we have made this content very light and simple way. So please watch the video till the end. To understand STN, we need to understand three other terms. The first term is data plane, control plane and management plane. Before going technically, I just want to give one small example to understand data plane, control plane, management plane in the easily. So let's compare with a human. So we have two legs and two hands. We are walking and we are running. So the brain is giving the instruction we need to walk slowly or we need to walk fast or we need to run slowly or we need to run fast. So according our brain instruction the legs will be act. That is one. The example two, let's say um, playing the cricket. So we are doing bowling or we are uh, batting or if the ball is coming we need to catch the ball. So the accordingly the instruction will be given by the brain. Uh, the ball is coming you need to run and stand there and catch up the ball. So accordingly our hand and our legs will be act. But the instruction is given by the brain. So same way control plane is the one of the mechanism will give the intelligent of the device but the data plane is like a hand and a legs. So what are the instruction is giving by the brain? Our legs and hand is how it is reacting. The same way the data plane and the control plane will send the packet and receiving the uh, frame something. But the, all the instruction will be given by the control plane. Coming to the management plane, we are not feeling well or we are sick. We are going to hospital, the doctor will do the test and give the prescription or give the medicines. So same way, management plane also the same. So what the, the management plane will do the all the device health checkups and give the instruction or give the fix something. So what is data plane? So data plane is the responsible for forwarding the traffic and or receiving the traffic from the IO model. So IO model abbreviation is like input and output. Control plane. So control plane is the responsible for making the decision how the traffic should be forward or routed to the other devices. We can say control plane is the brain of the switches or brain of the router. So management plane is the responsible to monitor the all the devices health checkups. Uh, like the devices whether live in the network or any CPU issue something so we'll see the plane all the planes in deeply now we'll see data plane in the detail way so what is data plane in traditional networking the data plane and control planes are integrated within the network devices such as router and switches so data plane is responsible for forwarding the traffic or moving the packets from one network to the another network based the instruction provided by the control plane. So here is the example for the traditional devices. The traditional device is having two models. So the white model is the control plane. The yellow model is the data plane or we can say IO model. IO is abbreviation is input and output model. So let's take the example here in the detail way. So what I made it here is like, so we have a traditional switch and the traditional switch is connected to the laptop with the RJ45 cable. So when the packets arrive from the laptop to the switches, so the data plane process the packet according to the information and the instruction provided by the control plane. So the data plane also known as forwarding or the user plane. So data plane is just a acting as a traffic which is sending from these interfaces. So like let's say this fast retainer 0 slash 1, 0 slash 2, all the interface connected to the either laptop or any IP phones. So it will be sending the packet or receiving the packet so that we will say as the data plane. Control plane. If you see the traditional networking, the control planes act as the brain of the networks. The routers use the protocol and the algorithm to exchange the routing information and take decision how packets should be forwarded in the networks. 
the control planes determines the optimal paths for the network traffic and the routing travel see the control plane is the brain of the switch we, why we are saying is this is the model this model is the io model and this model cables is connecting to the laptop pc or any other devices so what are the traffic inbound traffic and outbound traffic will be routed based on the decision or based on the instruction given by the control plane so we are saying the control plane is the brain of the switch or the brain of the router now we will management plane management plane is responsible for monitoring all the devices and provide the management services to all the layers of the network devices and this plane is handling the high level of network management like network monitoring bandwidth utilization customer billing this is for the cloud services etc so let's take a example to understand management plane easily we have 10 devices either router or switches and all devices are connected each other as a network administrator we need to monitor all the devices health status in the one dashboard like the devices down or up or the cpu utilization memory utilization etc okay so management plane will send out the all telemetric information to the monitoring server or the monitoring dashboard to easily manage in case if any device goes or down the monitoring tool will generate the alert to the network administrator using the snmp trap so this is the management plane which will give the device health status STN software defined networking the STN solution thought process to separate the control plane from the data plane in traditional devices we will say control plane is the brain of the devices but in STN concept the STN controllers act as the brain of the network the STN solution the entire control plane will be centralized in the STN controller now we will see who all are the vendor is supporting the STN solution so the STN solution is providing by multiple vendor like HPE, Juniper, IBM, Cisco, etc. But here we are going to see Cisco ACI. In Cisco ACI is the solution for STN. The ACI abbreviation is application centric infrastructure. We have two type of appliance in, M, uh, in Cisco ACI. The appliance we will call as EPIC M4 and EPIC L4. So M stands for medium and L stands for large. And the EPIC Epic abbreviation is Application Policy Infrastructure Controller. Even Nexus 900 platform like Nexus 9200 etc. we can use as a ACA solution. ACA interaction with the STA, DNA Center and the SD-WAN solution. So Cisco is majorly playing with the SD-WAN solution like Cisco Miraki, Cisco Viptala. So if you would like to more about Cisco Miraki, the video is available in our YouTube channel. The link will be given in the description and the code. Please go through the video. In STN solution, we need STN controller to manage all the devices. So in this topology, just assume this is the STN controller, this is the edge devices. So we need to install some software to manage all the devices via CLI and GUI in the STN controller. If you install some software, using the software, we can take the device remotely via CLI or GUI we can do all kind of things and we can dynamically manage and control the networks through the software. So in traditional devices if you take this this router or switches the control plane function and they build directly into these switches or the router. So what happen in the traditional topology the flexibility and the scalability which is a limit but if you come to the STN so what happening so all the devices the control plane will be splitted and this is managed by the STN controller and this is act as a edge devices. So if you take the <coughs> Cisco Viptala, this is as a VH and this is the VSmod. So VSmod is a intelligent providing the all the edge devices. So this edge devices just connecting the edge, con uh, edge devices like but PC, laptop, IP phone, CCD camera, something. But all decision will be taken care by this STN controller. STN benefit. So automation. So STN enable the network automation and reducing the manual configuration and make it easier to provisioning the new devices. So this will improve the efficiency and reducing the human effort and the human error. 
network programmability so hdn provides the apis and the allow the network programmability so apis we can use uh, multiple apis let's take an example for postman api software so using that we can build and test the apis so that will allow the network programmability so flexibility so in hdn the network administrator can quickly and easily make the changes in the network configuration to, through the hdn software so the SDN can improve the efficiency and performance the wide area network by dynamically routing the traffic based on the real time network conditions. So we can easily manage the networks by the software and we can manipulate the networks whatever we can use and um, optimize the bandwidth utilization and pro providing the centralized controller and the management. So this can be happen into the SDN if you use the flexibility. Scalability. So STN for the centralized management and the control of the network. So we can easily add and devices and remove the existing devices without any disruption. So we, if you install new devices or if you remove the existing device, so there won't there won't be any outage or there won't be any impact if you use the STN. And the STN offer the improve the network security and a plus it allow the dynamic security of policies that can be apply the specific network profits or the devices. So these all are the benefits. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please write it into the comments in the comment box. Please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please drop the mail if you have any doubts. Thank you. We'll meet you in the next video.